I'm just absolutely in shock and displaced with what I saw in the inning. And I was not ready for that. Really shocked me big time. And she was a, I was assuming that she was a potential character based to build up in this anime. But really, for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why she had to die. But I will get in that too, here in a few minutes. And so I, I want to first talk about some other things stuff like that. And then I will talk about the ending because that ending, like I saw, it really shocked me big time. really did. I was not expecting that. Really sad. Very, very sad. But, uh, yeah, and it was uh, basically in this uh, in same, uh, episode 4, uh, uh, zom, uh, is a zombie a, uh, is, is this a zombie? Um, the one, the one thing I really do not like about this anime, I know this is, this is the first time I've ever seen something like this basically happen in anime. I think this is the very first time I ever seen it really actually is, or maybe, maybe not. Or I thought that, I mean, I don't like the fact because that the MC character has used the has used to chainsaw where he transforms into a magical girl. I mean, I really, I really don't know. Now, Jim, just to be honest with you, just, just want to be honest with you, just want to say this, just want to say this. Remember episode one of, uh, of Bleach, you know, where, where he, where Ichigo, he meets Rukia, he meets Rukia, even though Ichigo do, does not have any powers like that. He does not know how to use a sword or anything like that. He does not know what is a Zanpakuto or anything, or anything like that for what's ever all. Even though with Rukia, she had a difficult time, she has some difficult time, you know, defeating defeat one of the hollow monsters, and basically, basically she want to do, want, wanted to do something to offer her powers to him. So it's kind of, it's kind of like, the, it's kind of like, you know, basically from what I've seen here in this anime, because, I mean, it's, it's I mean, I mean, Ichigo, he doesn't, he doesn't wear, you know, like, no crazy outfit or anything like that, but he wears, like, some kind of long dress gown or something like that. I wouldn't say, like, or anything like Walmart or anything like that. Two probably say for you guys. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that, but it's just, I'm not saying it's kind of weird or anything or anything like that. It's just basically, just basically that, you know, you know, you don't know what really is going to happen and stuff like that. Like, how much power does Ichigo really actually have? So it's just, like, Basically, what the MC character basically in this anime also saw too, because where he gets transformed into a magical girl and stuff like that. And I'm not saying I hate this or anything like that, but it's just it's just kind of disturbing to me. That's just basically that's just basically you know my opinion. That's just basically what I definitely think. I probably have to get used to it and stuff like that. That's pretty pretty much. I'm I'm just gonna have to basically just see where it's really actually where this anime is, is gonna go. I I don't know if he really is the MC character. Is gonna lose his powers or not, or maybe he may give give his powers back to back to the girl because even though she she can still use she can still use the chainsaw, but she can't but she can't transform because I don't even know why she cannot even transform in the first place transform in the first place because it's kind of like it's kind of like like it's kind of like you know the magical Madoka series like like whatever happens to a magical Madoka series is, is that. If they don't purify their, their item that they got, which is basically is basically the lifespan of their soul or, or something like that. That's what I generally think. Because if it turns to black, that means they, they will turn to a witch or they probably will die and stuff like that. Because and the reason why I'm saying it, the reason why I'm saying it is because because I'm like it, we we've seen different darker tones and stuff like that, basically in magical girls and in anime. The reason why I'm saying it is because because you basically you basically just get you basically get to you get to know them and stuff like that. Especially Magical Girl Rising Project, which is pretty much one of my favorite series. I really love the series. I, even though I consider that series to be one hundred percent much more better than you know the Madoka series. Even though that's just my opinion. Even though that's just my opinion because you have this like this crazy dude who's trying to get trying to get them to compete for points and and kill each other. And so it, it was just all kind of like a game that they were playing or something like that. But even though some of the other girls don't really don't actually know that this is really actually a game, but however, it has become a hunt game against Magical Girl versus Magical Girl or Magical Girl versus Magical Girl just so they can contain points and so they can win this so-called hunting tournament and something like that. And, you know, that's, that's basically what it seems to be because we've seen different varieties of variety of a magical girls anime. I know there's really a lot, but even though I don't mind, I don't mind watching them. But sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you know, I like the series just going and show maybe a darker, a darker series and stuff like that. And I know there's others also as well too. That is just basically not just for us. That's just basically for 
a younger audience because I think that's something that's something that they generally do like for the younger audiences, you know. So that because I mean, even though I'm just I'm just saying that's just basically what it feels. That's just basically what it, it feels to me and stuff like that. But even though I, I'm still stating is that I just don't like the fact that the MC character just has to wear has to wear a magical girl outfit and stuff like that. Now I mean, I do remember there is an anime out there which I definitely do want to watch because I've heard it's very funny because I was kind of just, um, skeptical if I really want to watch this anime because I mean because I think it's it's pretty funny from what I've heard as in and, and it's it, it does get pretty serious also well too because you basically have these like these these girls you get they get transformed into a a guy <laughs> magical outfit I'm not lying there is an anime out there like that which I'm I'm thinking about maybe watch that because I've heard it's, it's a pretty good trope and stuff like that and it really gained a lot of uh, a lot of proper uh, uh, popularity it really has so I, I really do want to go check out the anime if i if i ever do get the time to it or anything like that but you know i mean even, even though just just like i said before i just think it just it just think it just looks weird i know it may seem like it's funny but it's just it's just it's just something something i have to get used to because it's just not something i really do not like or anything like that but i don't blame i don't blame the anime that is this a zombie that maybe they're just trying something new that other animals have not have not even done even though that's just that that's what at first to me now i definitely want to talk about the ending of this uh, on this uh, of this anime also as well too because this would really have me shocked i mean in disbelief i'm not gonna lie and uh, I, i'm just gonna say this right now i'm not in favor about what they did to that girl or anything like that because they sacrificed her just basically early in the anime i mean i'm serious like episode one two three four one of the main characters she was one of them gone I, I i don't know what to say about that i'm really i'm very shocked disbelief because i mean i think i think that it's just a death for a character it's just it's just way too early it's just way too early just for the for, for that really happen i don't know why they would do something like that or anything like that but the question is but the question is, is that like who is the culprit who who uh who killed her I mean, we do not know if it if it ha if this was uh, basically this girl. You know, she can't show no emotions or anything like that because you know she's having conversations basically with with the MC character and stuff like that. You know, even though even though she's like she's being pinned down that she's not allowed to she's not allowed to do anything for what for whatsoever at all. I'm assuming that she must have a master. That's what I definitely that's what I definitely do think. But the question is, but the question is also also is that also as well too. And stuff like that how did she came from the underworld and just to help the mc also or also out or maybe she was given a duty to protect him or something like that or something but the main question is but the main question is who killed the mc character and who killed and who killed that girl was based in the hospital and i still i still don't like the fact because because that she had to die and i really that really makes me very, very upset i mean there could have been a lot of good potential that really could happen to that really can happen Based on the anime, and even though I'm just frustrated, I mean, I liked her character. I mean, she was a very good character for the MC, MC key, M MC. I mean, for the MC. But why? Well, why kill her in the first place? I, I, I know I'm upset because you know because I mean, I, I just think that she could have been a very good character for this anime, and she would have continued on and just, I, I don't know. It's, it's a uh, really is. It's frustrating too. It really is. It really hits me hard. Yeah. I, I guess that's what it is. If that, I, I don't know. Uh, um, yeah. But um, that's the end of this animal rights. Animal, not animal rights. Anyway, for you. I hope you guys definitely do understand what I'm trying to say here and stuff like that. It's just, it, it's just frustrating. I just wish more character development in her. And, you know, I, I figured that the anime would just be a lot more, me being a lot more different instead of just having have to make a sacrifice just like that just kind of like the whole aspect of kill a kill you know um, you know a no, akami got killed where the girl with the purple hair she died so early i think she died like so four or three or something like that maybe four or five somewhere right around her nick get really much characterization of her and then she's dead i i, I don't know now yeah. but uh yeah anyways uh sorry that was my phone and so so uh, yeah. Anyways, this is time next. Anyways, I'll see you guys there. Take care. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Uh, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. 
And please hit the notification for all sorts of other videos you got to watch my videos. Anyways, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.